Hey guys, I went to the bar and the bartender kept talking about grilling out, grilling cheeseburgers. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wanna check it out? Here we go. Okay, so this is garlic powder in the bowl, bottom of the bowl. I'm only doing this beforehand, at least to start. Um, so that way I can handle the uh, ground beef and not have to grab these. Um, and you wing it. These are salsa burgers. My husband, uh, so annoying. Um, but he really is. He's so good at this. I'm preheating the smoker slash grill to 425. I want it hot because we like our burgers medium rare. So we are going to make Generally we make three, I think I'm gonna do four burgers this time. I'm gonna make them a little smaller. Maybe, I don't know. I never really know what I'm gonna do. I should've just put on gloves. Cause of my ring. I'm gonna do that. Okay, got my gloves on. Um, I'm too fat to take off my ring. So if I was to squeeze this, it could potentially get in between, in between the diamonds. And so that's why I'm wearing gloves. Not because I think it's icky. I could just wash my hands, but it's really hard to get um, ground beef out from in between diamonds. Um, so we've got garlic powder, powder, salsa, your favorite kind. We've got 73% uh, lean ground beef. Eh, can't see that. Um, the more fat, the better. And in fact, I am actually going to add a tiny bit of mayo. This is my first time doing this. Um, but we are keto-esque, so we need more fat. Always. Less carbs, more fat. Let's do it. Just you mix it up. Not really grind, but I'm telling you, this salsa has so much flavor. Another thing that is easy to add to um, ground beef <laughs> gives it so much flavor is stovetop stuffing. I'm obsessed with stovetop, but we can't have it right now. I mean, we could, but it would be like all day out of the week. So because it's Tuesday. I need to try to be good. So that's what I'm doing. Ground beef, zero. Salsa, one, maybe two. Garlic powder, zero. Okay, so I am going to, what I should have done beforehand is gotten a plate out. So we're doing, we're dividing these into four, normally three. We normally do two pounds of ground beef and then we split it into six patties. But it's just me, Jason's golfing. My husband's name is Jason, he is wonderful. I talk about him all the time, it's super annoying. We are codependent, uh, we're working on it. Um, not like in an unhealthy way, it just is just annoying to other people. We love it. Um, works out great, but people don't want to hear about it all the time. Okay, so we've got four patties. Um, let me, I don't know. I'm going to take these gloves off and then, oh god, yay, yay, yay. Got extra fat, we've got some flavor. All right, give me a moment. Okay, so we've got our patties and I, well, they're just divided at this point. So what I'm gonna do is actually turn them into patties and then I'm going to add salt and pepper. While, so right now, and I think I told you this before, 
The grill is heating up. I have it set to 425. I would like a nice char on it. We are medium rare folks. Get on there. Get on there, tomato. One. I mean, that's a good size patty, right? So the reason I'm not as worried about my ring, <laughs> you guys care, because it's mostly the bottom. The top is where I have the issues with the individual diamonds. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I don't want ground beef raw ground beef or any type of ground beef or any meat or anything stuck in between the diamonds so so if you couldn't guess by the name of my youtube channel amateur hour of chaos i have no idea what i'm doing but I enjoy it. Just wing it. I want to be good, so I just keep trying. If you want to be good, you have to be okay with failure. Which is tough, right? Where you're like, oh, I want people to be happy. I want people to be satisfied. Well, sometimes they're like, it wasn't your best. Which sucks, but you learn from it. Okay, so we've got four patties. I'm gonna wash my hands and I cannot touch my phone, so you're just gonna have to wait. Those look pretty good, right? I mean, it would be better if I was not in the light. So I'm going to add some salt and pepper on this side. And then when, uh, generous, I'm telling you, you will not regret going a little overboard. So, um, so I'm going to, when I put them on the smoker slash grill, I'm going to, the side that's facing up right now, it's going to be facing down, and then I will add more salt and pepper. I am, <laughs> one thing I learned since I started cooking is I'm not a huge fan of like the fresh cracked pepper. I actually don't care for it at all. I like the stale, finely ground pepper. If you don't like pepper, don't use it. If you're not a big fan of salt, don't use it. Um, if you don't like garlic powder, don't use that. If you don't like spicy salsa, find something else. Honestly, this is truly about like, hey, this is one of our favorite things to make. We're going to make it. I'm going to make it by myself. All right. We'll see you at the grill. So I'm actually going to uh, just slice up an onion. Normally I'd use a mandolin, but I just used it yesterday and it's a little dirty. I'm only gonna do a few slices, but I love onion on a good burger. This is not instructions. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I probably shouldn't be using a knife right now. But I do know that you want to peel off a couple layers of the outside before you do anything. And it's way easier to do slices than it is to like dice. I have not figured out dicing yet. I will, just like I figured out chicken. That chicken last night turned out so good. 
I was so proud of myself. Um, I actually requested a little bit more praise from my husband because he's like, yeah, it was great. But no, I, nope, I need, I need more. Please freak out a little bit and say, oh my gosh, that was delicious. But he didn't, even after I asked him. That's really all I'm gonna do. See that? You wanna know why? Because it's just me. My husband wants more, he can cut more. All right, to the grill. All right. I probably should have just cleaned it before I turned this on, but I didn't, so. Listen, cut me some slack. I had a few drinks. Oh God, I've got a good story for you. So, a good friend of mine wanted to meet up for a little bit. She could only meet for like, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours, whatever. So we had a couple of drinks. This is the one bad thing about having a smoker. I don't, I have not figured out how to stop like, oh. So anyway, I almost never say no. We never say no. So she's like, hey, I've got a little bit of time. Do you want to meet up? Yep. Now let's do this. Is that not that matters? Do you want to meet up? Yep. Met her at a dive bar. Got a CC and soda. And then she wanted a second drink. Two drinks, done. So anyway, she had to leave. I went in to close out. And there was some gal sitting at the bar. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna close out. And the gal sitting at the bar is like, no. You need to sit here and have a drink with me. <laughs> she was actually familiar. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Fine. So, I had one more. She had a drink and a shot and then she left but somebody came in a guy came in and oh boy I'm really that well left that open for way too long <laughs> so anyway this guy came in and we started talking a guy who had a knee replacement surgery and then the bartender so the three of us were talking and I was like you know I, I should probably go but I had so, so, such a good time that I was like mm, I don't have anything to do tonight my husband's golfing I'm gonna stay for one more after I already closed out my tab so I closed out my tab then opened it back up I'll just take a beer Instead of a whiskey and soda, I'm going to do just a Miller Lite. Just do a Miller Lite. It's fine. And had one. Was thinking, I should probably go. I'll do one more. Just one more. I'll just do one more. It's fine. But I actually did just do one more after that. But we're talking like five drinks. I need to get home at some point. I should not be Ubering when I'm by myself. Like, if you're with other people, fine. I don't know, I was having a great time with my friends. Got carried away. But in this case, I got carried away with strangers. No shots, though. So, anyway. The girl... I said bartender earlier, but it was actually the girl that told me, No, don't close out. You should have a drink with me. She was talking about grilling out earlier. She's like, oh, it's grilling burgers. And drinking fireball. Fireball gives me like immediate. Ugh. But it got me craving burgers. So when I closed out for the second time, I was like, I am 
going to the store. I'm not going for fast food. I want to make my own burgers. And that reminds me, I need salt and pepper on the other side. BRB. Look at how cute these are. Look at how cute. I care much less about pepper than I do salt. This is why I'm not losing weight. But you know what? You enjoy your life sometimes. We don't have kids, like, we both drink, we love having a good time, I have no idea how long the burgers have been on there, but... cheers. Literally every time I cook, I'm like, what should I have to drink while I'm cooking? I work out, I mostly eat good low carb. Okay. I'd rather die at 50. All right. Let's see what we got. I don't know if you can see any of this. Can you hear it? actually kind of hard to tell if they're medium rare because of the salsa that's in there it kind of makes them look a little red so again I'm just warming it I'm gonna go get a clean plate bear bear in addition to a clean plate I got a buttered bun it's just me so I buttered a bun keto bun and I threw a little garlic salt on mine I'm gonna throw it on there Then I'm gonna add the cheese. Keto cheese would be like um, cheddar, blue cheese, anything off the block. American. I don't care. I think this is like one or two grams of carb. I don't care. It's worth it. Melty cheese. Velveeta sliced cheese is really good too. Yes, I did. Grow up. All right, cheese time. was to do all of them with cheese but it was inconvenient 
So I changed it. Also, I was going to leave the burgers on for a little bit longer so it could melt, but it's already hot. And anyway, I'm going to turn off the video. I'll show you what the finished product look like. looks like. Don't judge me. So my cat is constantly trying to go outside. And I've made a rule that he is not allowed to go outside if I've had any drinks at all because there have been at least two times that I have left him outside. So, it's a wrestling match. All right, let's check it out. We are going to do, get rid of these sharp things. Yes, that's from freaking 4th of July, whatever. Okay, we've got our buns, look at that. This one's not as toasty, but it was thinner. I am going to do a full onion in the big burger. All right. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna let you watch me prep this. Ketchup has a shit ton of carbs. Five, it's a lot, but I want it. A little bit. Good enough. All right. And then this guy. Oh man, look like an idiot. Mayo. Hellman's. The real shit. And I took two of these slices, so I may as well just add the other one on top. Because I do love onions. Alright. Look at that beaut. I got mayo on my arm. I'm going to give you... Ready? No idea the cook on this burger. Could be rare. Could be well done. No idea. Ready? It's perfect. I mean, it could make me sick. Tastes really good. Look at that. Mmm, you see that? Mmm. Okay, two bites. Super juicy, flavorful. Add whatever ingredients you want. You don't need to do those pre made patties with seasoning in it already. You can do it yourself. I'm sure at this point you know the things that you like. Like pickles? Add pickles. Spice? Do that. Cheese? No cheese? Garlic? Anything. Try anything. Sauerkraut? If you like it. Try it. If it doesn't work out, don't do it again. I'm gonna eat this in peace. Catch you guys on the flippity flip.